So previously on the vlog, I booked a girl's trip and met up with one of my closest friends who lives here in Japan. And I showed you the requirements, gave you guys an Airbnb tour, went shopping, went to touristy places, tried new food, and made lots of memories. But now, I am alone here in Japan. I'm so scared! You can do it! I'm a strong, independent woman. Repeat it with me. I'm a strong, independent woman. And I've been living alone for years now, but I never got to experience traveling alone. So this is so scary for me. This is my first time and it's quite daunting for me to be in a foreign place where I can't understand their language at all. This is such a huge responsibility and definitely out of my comfort zone. But I may seem like I am responsible, but there are parts of myself that I hate. Like really hate. Because it's hassle. Niya. Like number one, I'm clumsy. Number two, I tend to be forgetful. Of my things and number three of course i'm a girl i have to be extra considerate about my safety so yeah <laughs> let's see how this goes It felt like I was being dressed up sa ya8.com <laughs> And this was quite an experience, honestly and So right now, I'm just gonna go around Asakusa Let's see what I can do alone there Hi guys, so I'm finally here at Ikebukuro Hi guys, so I'm finally here at Ichiran Ramen It took me about 30 minutes to like wait for my turn and I'm here I have my own chibuka. This is my first time and I'm wearing a kimono. Tell me you're in Japan without telling me you're in Japan. <laughs> so I rode the rickshaw out of boredom because I don't know what to do. Ang daming tao sa temple, like there's a festival going on. So I don't think I can like pull out my tripod and take photos. So ang ginawa ko na lang ng show ko, this I asked the guy to take photos of me. And it was quite of an experience to tell you guys honestly. Guys, I told Coco I feel like a princess. Yeah. <laughs> and he is the genie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the first time I, I sing it. Yeah. Oh, there's an additional payment if you sing? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I ate a while ago at Ichiran. Oh. I, I ate Ichiran while wearing this. Yeah. At first, I didn't want to try it talaga kasi parang naawa ko dun sa parang driver. But then, driver told me that it's easier than it looks like. Na he could even push it with a finger if you're like super gaan talaga na tao. Although it's quite pricey, like plus 9,000 yen siya. But I was so desperate because I wanted nice photos sana with my kimono. Bye, Coco! Bye. <laughs> So right now, I'm just gonna go to a must-visit again the restaurant. I bet super haba na naman ng pila, but it's okay. I'm just alone, so I'm gonna go there. Good morning. 
visiting Japan. It's another day, another chance to explore Tokyo. I woke up really early, <laughs> and ang technique ko para mahype ako is to play my favorite song at the moment, and that is Flowers by Miley Cyrus. It just boosts my, you know, strong, independent woman self. <laughs> okay, so before I go on with my itinerary for today, um, I'll picture muna ako outside. I'm gonna take self timer photos. And then I'm gonna eat this one. This is my favorite dessert here at Japan. There's something about their desserts na sobrang sarap. Kasi it's not too sweet. So, alam mo yung feeling pag kumakain ka ng chips. Like, you cannot get enough. So, you keep on like eating and eating. Para na papa binge eat ka. And that's what happens to me when it comes to Japanese desserts. Kasi hindi siya matamis. So, parang no problem kung tuloy tuloy mo siyang kainin. That's what it looks like. It's a souffle. Pag nandito kayo sa Japan, you have to try this one. I even got this black egg. Okay, guys, I just got back here at the Airbnb after taking photos, and I have a story time. So, ayan, I was out in the neighborhood. I went to 7 Eleven, grabbed some brunch, kasi nagugutom na ako. So, I got yung parang katsudon, tempura rice nila. And, and then, when I went to the counter, kasabay ko yung isang old man, and he bought like five packs of cigarettes. And then, halos sabay kami lumabas ng old man. And I was so shocked to find this old man's car windows open with car keys on it. So, it means that nagbo-work yung car. As in, umaandar yung car. Walang tao sa loob. And I was so shocked kasi if you do that here in the Philippines, baka wala na yung kotse mo sis. Diba ba? <laughs> Nanakaw na. What I'm trying to say is that ganun ka safe here in Japan. This old man, he probably lived in Japan for years now, is um, very confident in leaving his car open in the street. I guess Japan is really the perfect country to travel to when you're alone. Honestly, it's not super safe naman. I know there are like other cases, especially when it comes to girls na medyo marami pervert daw. I don't know. Not generalizing in any way, but in yeah, parang uh, you just have to be aware of that. That's just a little story time, so I'm gonna go ahead and head out now. here at Malu Cafe. At first, it was so hard to find because it's like it's in the middle of Eskinita. And it's so worth it. I thought it was just a cafe na parang I'm just gonna go there for photos because it's cute ng food. Nila. But then, I ended up drinking and finishing the coffee in one go. As in, when I sip ko, as in, I just bottoms up. Then I didn't know what to do. It's that good. The coffee is that good. The bear is just ice. Just lang siya. I'm gonna rush now to Cafe Reissue. It's like a cafe where you can like make latte art. Japan has the most aesthetic public sea art. Like, look at this. I just went to Cafe Reissue. It's basically a 2D and 3D latte art cafe. Uh, it's very popular to tourists. Actually, I went there and I was beside like an American couple and a French couple. And since it's very popular to mga tourists, you have to book a slot beforehand. Like for example, ako, I went here around mga 1 p.m. and they said that I should come back at 2:45 p.m. So ganon katagal yung waiting time. But I think it's very worth it. And hindi mo na makailangan pumila talaga. Na, you know, you have to fall in line. You can just, you know, return. And I recommend for you guys to get the 3D art latte. Kasi yung 2D, you can get that from anywhere. I think mayanon ng mga ganun sa Philippines. But yung 3D, it's very unique. Okay, so cafe number three was such a unique experience. I went to the Harajuku Zoo Land. And I can't even name most of the animals that were in there. But they were so cute. And they were actually very gentle. Like, they didn't bite at all. That was my number one fear. Yung Harajuku Zoo Land na yun, guys. You can actually go there without buying any drink or anything like that. Parang viewing lang or touching. <laughs> whatever you call it, ng mga animal. That was really good for me because I had two cups of coffee already in just, you know, three hours. And I'm I'm gonna go to a lot of cafes, pa. So if you're traveling alone and walang tutulong sa yung picture, I highly recommend this selfie stick. 
Actually, it's very portable. I'm gonna show you guys later on. This selfie stick is a lifesaver. Super sturdy niya. It's not like the ones na wonky na matutumba agad. Okay, so the last cafe was Cafe Ron Ron. It's basically something that I saw that went viral on TikTok. This is like dessert land of my dreams. But then there's also like a mix of salty food para hindi kayo maumay. May mashed potato, corn dog, um, mga chips, ganon. For one person, it's an average of 40 minutes. For this one, sobrang haba ng pila. I had to reserve a slot as well. Same concept lang. You just have to walk in and then pick a time. But again, you don't have to fall in line naman. Honestly, I out of all the cafes that I visited, they were the nicest stuff. Like, they were so nice. They even looked up my YouTube channel and the manager was so nice. A very memorable experience for me. I've never tried yung only dessert. And so, yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> Okay, so part of traveling for days is to wash your clothes, of course. And our Airbnb came with these uh, laundry soaps. So squishy. I have a bath bomb here from Lush, adding a little spice. It's such a beautiful day out. Ngayon lang ako nakapag cropped up outside and actually survived the cold. And I just wanted to take my time this morning to, you know, journal and write the things I learned here in Japan. Okay, so things I learned in Japan. Number one, I am capable as long as I put my mind and heart into it. Honestly, it's so surreal for me to be here because exactly a month ago, lang, I was planning my 2023. And one of my biggest goals is to travel more this year. And I thought that it would really be hard because it's hard to do if you don't have kasama. And not everybody has the luxury to travel. Not just when it comes to money, but also time. Like for example, my birthday ko on January 8th, we were supposed to go to Siargao. But hindi nagkatugma-tugma yung schedule namin magkakapatid and kahit si Sean. So, um, ginawa ko, kinansa ko yung Shargao trip and I booked this trip again. And I was up for the challenge. Now, what if may mga times naman na talagang kailangan mag-isa lang ako uh, mag-explore, ganun. Kasi hindi naman lahat sabay-sabay kayo ng you know, timeline. To talk about that is such a privilege because this is my work and I wouldn't ever want to take this for granted that's why i want to invest more on experiences than just material things number two don't be afraid to take calculated risks and make mistakes trust your gut feeling and don't panic when you skip a station <laughs> i am way beyond my comfort zone right now i'm in a foreign country i don't know any of their language but i learned a lot along the way number three double or triple check everything the contents of your bag like passport wallet all of the cameras and stuff like that map route my stuff oh and actually vacuum sealers are everything and that's on me overpacking <laughs> got it